So in this video, we're going to do synthetic division. Synthetic division works for certain types of polynomial division. Now, before we start doing synthetic division, I'm going to do, if you notice, problem number one and problem number two are identical. It's slightly different in terms of problem one has x's in the variable and problem two has n's, but ultimately they're the same type of problem. So for question number one, I'm going to remind you how to do this with long division. So we're going to set up our division box. We are dividing by x plus 3. We've got 6x squared. We've got plus 12x and then minus 27. So for our powers, 2, 1, and then our constant, so all of our powers are represented. And now we're going to start this whole process of take this term divided by this term. So 6x squared divided by x is 6x. It doesn't matter on top how you line it up. It's all good. So we're going to take 6x times both of these. So 6x times x is 6x squared. And then 6x times 3 is going to be plus 18x. I'm going to subtract those two, remembering that these first two terms, when they line up, need to cancel each other out, and they do. So now I've got 12 minus 18, so that's going to be negative 6x, bring down the negative 27, and then start again. So I'm going to take negative 6x divided by x, so that's going to be negative 6. Let's go ahead and multiply that. So negative 6x and then minus 18. Stack it and subtract it. So the first two terms cancel. And then I've got negative 27 minus negative 18, which is really 27 plus 18. So that's going to be negative 9. All right, so then... I'm going to have negative 9 over x plus 3 with the remainder there. So this is the example for long division. Now, synthetic division isn't necessarily like short division, but it's a different way to do division. One thing I want to be careful about, synthetic division that I'm going to show you only works when you are dividing by a variable that has a number of one as its coefficient, and you are adding or subtracting an integer. All right, so just be careful that this is a linear um, divisor, that you're dividing by a linear function or a linear um, expression. Let me get the right terms going. Linear expression. And this n, or this first variable, has a coefficient of one. All right, if it doesn't have those things, there are ways to do synthetic division, but they are, I find them even more difficult than long division. So first thing I want you to do is take what you are dividing by and set it equal to zero. And you're gonna solve for that zero. So n is equal to negative three. So now we're going to use negative 3, and there's, I've seen two different ways to set up uh, synthetic division. You can put a little box here, um, and I actually do it the other way sometimes too, so I'll show you both. All right, so using this negative 3, and now all I want to do is grab the coefficients and the constant for my problem, for my polynomial here. So the coefficient of n squared is 6. The coefficient of n is 12, and the coefficient of negative 27, or the constant here, is negative 27. All right, give yourself a little bit of working space, and that's your setup. So it's what makes your divisor equal to 0, in this case negative 3, and then use just the coefficients from the polynomial that you're dividing into. And after this, it becomes a very simple process. You're going to drop your first number, whatever it is, just drop it straight down. Now, because we have changed the sign here and we found the zero, instead of doing um, divide, multiply, and subtract, now what you get to do is just multiply and add. So negative three times six is negative 18. 
and I'm going to add those up vertically. So there's negative 6. And now I'm going to multiply again. So negative 3 times negative 6 is positive 18. And I'm going to add vertically, so negative 9. Now my answer is not 6 minus 6 minus 9. Remembering that we started with the um, coefficients here, that's what we've got here. So this number at the far, far right is your remainder. The next number over, so the next number in the list to the, uh, to the left here is going to be your constant. And then the next number, in this case, has the variable n attached to it. So that's your first n. If there was another number here, you would have n squared and then n cubed. And you just keep counting up. But we don't have those, so I'm going to take them out. So my actual answer here is 6n minus 6 minus 9 over, and going back to what we were dividing by up here, n plus 3. Now, that should not be a big shock or surprise that that's our answer because that was what we got in the first problem. Again, we had x's in the first problem, but 6x and 6n, all right, same thing, minus 6, minus 6, okay, minus 9 over x plus 3, minus 9 over n plus 3. So here's the thing. If given the opportunity or the option between doing long division and synthetic division, I will always choose synthetic division. But remember, synthetic division is only going to work when the thing that you are dividing by is a single variable, so that coefficient of 1, and then something being added or subtracted to it. All right, so just be careful with those. For this video, for the rest of it, I'm going to go ahead and do the odd problems. The even problems will be in the answer key, so you can check against those. Um, but there's plenty of examples here for you to see. All right, number three. And all of these I'm going to do as synthetic division. So take your divisor, set it equal to zero, and solve it. That becomes the value that you're going to use in your synthetic division. Oh, I remember I told you there's two ways to set this up. So you can either put the three in the box or put the coefficients in the box. It won't matter. It kind of just depends on what you do or what you prefer to do. Uh, speaking of coefficients, I want to grab the coefficients from this problem. So 3, negative 11, and 8. Also make sure, if obviously, if it's a negative, you pull that negative because that makes the coefficient negative. A uh, little bit of workspace here. First number drops straight down. And now you're going to multiply. So 3 times 3 is 9. Add negative 11 plus 9 is negative 2. Multiply 3 times negative 2 goes in here. It's going to be negative 6 and then add them up vertically. Now, if this helps you, take a second and remind yourself, this is the remainder. Then you've got your constant, and the variable here is n, so my answer is gonna be 3n minus two is my constant. Now, my remainder two is positive, right? It doesn't say it's negative, so we're gonna assume it's positive. So plus two over n minus three. And that's synthetic division. All right, so problem number three is nice and done. Moving on down, problem number five here. All right, so take what your divisor is. So x minus 9 is equal to 0. Solve for x. So x is equal to 9. So now we're going to do 9, and then I want the coefficients. So 8, negative 80, and 66. And I write huge, so I leave myself plenty of space. All right, drop the first number, multiply. So 9 times 8, 72. Add up vertically, negative 8. So 9 times negative 8 is going to be negative 72. Add up vertically, and we're going to get negative 6. All right, so this is my remainder. My constant, my variable in this case is x. So 8x minus 8 minus 6 over x minus 9. Now, you might be looking at this going, this is a lot, lot faster, a lot less steps than the long division problems. Keep in mind the long division problems had more terms in them. So if these were to have more terms, it would take a little bit longer to do the uh, synthetic division as well. 
All right, problem number seven. Take what your divisor is, find it's zero. So b minus six equals zero, which makes b equal to six. So we've got seven, negative 43, and seven. A little bit of workspace. So seven, six times seven is 42. Add up vertically, that's gonna be negative one. So negative six, add vertically is one. All right, let's go remainder, constant, variable is b. So seven b minus one plus my remainder of one over b minus six. All right, so remember, it's constantly, you drop that first number down, then it's multiply, add vertically, multiply, that gives you this negative six, and then add vertically. Once you got to the end of the synthetic division, just figure out your answer. So this far, far right number is your remainder, the next number over is gonna be your constant, and then start working through your powers of whatever variable you have. So b, if you had b squared, b cubed, and then just keep working your way up one at a time. All right, next problem. Let's go ahead and slide on down to number nine. I keep doing the same process all the time. So it's take your divisor, set it equal to zero, and solve. So b equals negative 10 in this case. So you got two, positive 20, and then negative five. So drop that first number down. We've got two there. So let's see, that's gonna be, um, now I wanna multiply. So negative 10 times two is negative 20. Now if I add those up, that's zero. That's okay. So now I'm gonna multiply negative 10 times zero. Well, it's zero, add vertically, negative five. So now if I look at my pieces, remainder, constant, and the variable here is b. So you've got two b, you do not need to tell me you're gonna add or subtract zero. Adding or subtracting zero as a constant doesn't mean anything, so just leave it out. But I am gonna put my remainder of five over b plus 10. So there is my simplified, or my divided fraction there, or my divided polynomial. All right, let's see, number 11. All right, so this one's gonna get a little bit longer because now we've got v to the third. But same process, take your divisor here, v plus two, set it equal to zero, v equals negative two. So now I'm gonna use negative two with the synthetic division. So one, 10, 17, and eight. There's my workspace. Now remember I pulled that one because there's always an invisible one here in front of v cubed, and so we could always use that. So first number drops. Multiply, negative two. Add vertically, eight. Multiply, negative two times eight is negative 16. Add vertically, that's gonna get to one. Negative two times one is negative two. Add vertically, that's gonna get me six. So remainders on the far right, we've got our constant. Now we're gonna have v, and the next number is gonna be v squared. You're just gonna work your way up the powers of v. So you can either write one v squared, or your teacher's a little lazy and is just gonna write down v squared, plus eight v, plus one is the constant. Adding one does change things, so go ahead and put that in there. Plus six over v plus two as my remainder. All right, keeping working on my way down through. I think there's two more problems I'm gonna go through. So let's see, we've got x plus three is my divisor. So x plus three equals zero, which makes x equal to negative three. So eight, 34, 32. All right, first number drops straight down. That's gonna be negative 24. Add vertically, that's going to be positive 10. Multiply is negative 30, add vertically, you get two. So that's remainder, constant, there's my x. So eight x plus 10 plus two over x plus three. All right, last one here is problem number 15. I think that's the last one it is. All right. 
So we have, we're dividing by m plus one. So I'm gonna do m plus one equals zero, which makes m, I don't know why I just put an n. Let's try that again. So m equals negative one. All right, so we're gonna use negative one with our synthetic division. And we're gonna start with m to the fourth as a coefficient of one. m cubed has a coefficient of one. Now we have a small problem. There is no m squared in this problem and you absolutely need the placeholder. So m to the fourth, m cubed, m squared takes a placeholder of zero. Then we've got m and our constant. So yes, you absolutely need to make sure you are using the right values and you put those placeholders in. All right, so first number drops straight down, one, that's going to be negative 1 times negative, or negative 1 times 1 is negative 1. Add vertically, I'm going to get a 0. So now negative 1 times 0 is 0. Add vertically, that's a 0. Negative 1 times 0 is 0. Negative 8 plus 0 is negative 8. And then negative 1 times negative 8 is 8. 2 plus 8 makes 10. All right. So starting at the far right, there's my remainder my constant. This is m, m squared. My last value here is going to be m cubed. So it's going to be 1 m cubed. 0 m squared doesn't matter. 0 m isn't going to matter, but this constant of 8 will. So minus 8 plus 10 over m plus 1. And there you go. Again, you don't have to have the one in front of m cubed. Sometimes I write it, sometimes I don't. Um, I tend not to normally, but it's okay if it's in there. All right, a lot of examples on synthetic division for the even problems other than number two, which I already did. I will have those in the answer key. If you have any questions or concerns about